understand the charges brought against you? Yes, my lord. How do you plead? I am not guilty, my lord. Do you deny the crime of attempted robbery? Your Honor, now according to your theft act of 1968, a person is guilty if he dishonestly appropriates the property of another with the intention of dishonestly depriving the other of it. Please explain why you feel they do not apply to you. What I did was not stealing. I was attempting to return back lost property. Stolen property, actually. Stolen by the colonials over 100 years ago. Your Honor, if you were to suddenly find your wig and robe missing, and then on your way to court this morning, you found them in the place of another, would you not take them back? Of course I would, but that is a completely different matter. But my Lord, is that not theft, then? We are not here to discuss a hypothetical situation. We are here to discuss what you did, or tried to do. My lord, please. We are talking about your robe and wig, my lord. My robe is my robe, and that is an end to it. The artwork is mine, made by my people. It belongs to them. The artwork belongs to the museum from which you tried to take it. No, madam! Yes, the piece was in your museum. Yes, it has been there for over 100 years. But that does not change the fact that it does not belong in your museum. It belongs to my people. And it was taken from them. Now, if you can prove that these artifacts are given, not taken, then I will happily plead guilty. But I know that is impossible. Because the real thief here is the British Empire, who unjustly invaded my people in the year 1897! Searched everywhere and couldn't find the king. Everywhere? Everywhere, sir. Nothing. Only this. Hoist the flag! 